Okay, okay, okay. What you saying, producers? Ian on the track. Back on your box. Now, remember that video where I taught you how to make banks in Beatmaker 3 out of presets from your favourite desktop VSTs? Yeah, I've done that for Arcade. Let's get into it. Right, so to start out, just so you lot understand what we're dealing with here, yeah? Let's go over to my banks. I'm just going to select this Arcade tag here. Banks, banks, banks. Put a lot of work into this. Obviously, check out the video to work out how to sample sounds. Obviously, when you if you've paid for these the VSTs and you're not making use of them on the, on the PC anymore because you switch over to iOS, why not, man? Build that sound library up. Let me show you how I set up this bank. I've done this multiple times. I've done this over a hundred times, so. Trust me, this works. I'll just exit the menu here, go over to my sampler window. So the first part of every bank is a keyboard bank, essentially. It's, it's the arcade keyboard itself, going from C2 to C6. So I can play that on my keyboard, just the white keys only. Obviously with Arcade, the black keys are the effects keys, so there's nothing there to sample. This is essentially my keyboard pad. So I'll be making free with that pad selected, so I've got the keys mode, and I've got all of my banks pre-scaled to the major scale, so it's only going to show pads that have got samples on them. So just like with the keyboard. So there are 15 samples with every line in Arcade. And what I thought initially to do was just to lay each sample on their own individual pad. I did that initially, but I wanted to be able to pitch my banks and there are no global controls for doing that. And that's why I set up this pad, go back over to the sampler, and let me just show you the samples that sit on there. If I talk into the samples tab, you can see all 15 samples have been mapped into one layer. Head over to mapping, and you can see that they're all laid out on the keyboard. Again, from C2 to C4. And the advantage of having these all on one pad is I'm able to pitch the pad up and down and essentially pitch up and down the bank that I'm using. So in this original key. Yo, this is cold, you know? Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna use this back and pitch it up. So that's the advantage of having them all in one pad. But yeah, but for the rest of the pads, I assign the individual 15 samples to their own pad. And what this allows me to do is if I find a particular sample that I like within the bank, I could play around with that sample, go into keys mode, and then play with that at different tones also. So that's the original. But I could go up. find a pattern that's there to be made within a, a sample so that's handy too yeah so yeah that's my sound library what are you saying let's make a beat i think i'm gonna use this bank let's make a loop out of this This is an F minor, so let's just see how it sounds in let's see how it sounds in a C sharp.
Let's find another bank. Let's get some vocals on this. Let's see this bank's in A minor. So let's tune that up. Some effects in this keys. Same effects, just add to EQ. that throws off. Let's just delete that. I'm going to put that on the pad itself. So I might still use this bank for something else later. So to do that, by the way, I've gone over to my audio effects panel. By default, it's going to show you the panel for the entire bank to set FX2. I tap on this pads button here. This takes me to the particular pad that's selected so I can apply effects to that individual pad. So we've got that pad selected now. Let's go over and add mix box. And it was a delay. So I added one eighth, set it to mono, take the feedback down to route. No more than five. Because you don't want it to be delayed. It's not about getting a delayed effect. It's about getting the idea of shadow notes or ghost notes rather. And then take the the, the wetness down to about, about 15 to 20%. Depending on the instrument that you're using. And then I usually take the filter up as well. So we're getting a high pass filter on the delay effect. <laughs> Thank you. 
There you go, guys. We have everything that we need to make this beat. Arcade Banks or Beatmaker 3. As always, I've gone ahead and arranged the beat, so stick around for that at the end of the video. If you like what you've seen today, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you are interested in getting banks like Arcade into Beatmaker 3, definitely check out the video for the card earlier on. And definitely check out the information in the description below to find out more. So, yeah, as always, guys, keep cooking. Thank you.